All new 2021 352 Raptor. Tell me about it. What's different uh, this year? So one of the unique things is, is the fact that we have a tried and true uh, floor plan called the Raptor 356, which has been great for Raptor for years. Sure. What we did is we had an east-west bed slide to it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let me go over some of the you know standard features you see on a Raptor. For instance, the uh, actual deck we're standing on here, this is going to be a Moride um, zero-G door. So what it allows you to do basically is anybody can lift it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a spring-assisted door. It's lightweight. Um, if you have a bomb arm, something right. like that, you have kids. Once you put the rail in, this thing is easy to lift at that point. So as we're standing on it right now, it allows you 1,500 pounds. Okay. When it's down as a ramp, you got 3,000 pounds you can go up on there. So that's a good way. That, that's a good hangout spot. Absolutely. I love how you have Isn't that awesome? the entry point for the solid steps. Look, you guys even thought about putting solid steps going into the party deck. Hundred percent. And this is where most of your flow of traffic comes from is off the yeah. side. Yeah. So you just put your steps down, flow of traffic goes right through here, you pull the cable. You're good to go. And we have legs underneath that are going to support it too while you're going up. Now that zero G coming down was super easy too because the pull tab is actually on the inside. So this will handle right here. That's right. See if you can get that Bobby. You pull that and it just comes right down. Super easy. These cables help keep it upright and stable. Love the scissor arm awning that we have back here. LED lights, backup camera. And to your point, backup camera, that is a standard feature on Raptor, mm -hmm. and it's very unique to us. Most of the time you see toy haulers are going to be prepped for backup camera, things right. like that. We make it a standard feature for you. So what that allows us to do is when we do it at the factory like that, we can actually put a kill switch in there for you. Oh, right so on. it doesn't drain your battery down. So it's a nice, unique feature. Something else we have with Raptor is the dovetail storage. So if you need extra storage area down through there, you can put whatever you need down in there. Hoses, uh, straps, whatever. Bike gear. Golf bike equipment. gear, you got it. That's it is heavy duty, man, so don't worry about riding your bike up on it. That's a good use of space, man. Talk now, about maximizing the efficiency. I mean, which, so so here's here's my thing. 11 foot garage. Mm -hmm. I'm used to 13. Okay. But love the placement and I love the anchors. It's not just Absolutely. a D-ring. You got in-floor anchors. Um, tell me, what can I fit in here? What's my width? What's my depth? So you've got 11 foot in depth here, mm -hmm. and you got right around 94 inches in right. width. Okay. okay. So your uh, couple Harleys, uh, you can do a two seat side by side in here, no problem. Yeah, you can put kayaks back here. Mm -hmm. If you guys have, um, if it's family that doesn't have necessarily the toys, they can use this into a giant bunkhouse. That's the, what I love about toy awesome? haulers. Versatility. Yeah. It's one of those. It is. It's one of the most versatile things you can get as far as an RV. Because mm -hmm. to that point, this is a suite back here if you think about it with the insulation you got beds not only here now this folds out into a sofa but it's also almost a king size bed I mean, we've got queen space mm -hmm. yep so and you got one up above as well so you got double full-size beds queen size beds queen whatever size you want to call it uh on top of each other easily sleep four people back here you got it and, and with my tv there i got my entertainment I got my storage up above, like right here. So if I'm doing, you know, whatever, it's a hunting fishing trip, I set this up as the hunting cabin or the fishing cabin. I can put some stuff up there if I need it. Got another space there, got my entertainment space. And at the end of the day, we're back here hanging out. These are the couches. We got the tables in between. We're watching the game, having fun. Absolutely. We don't want to track the dirty stuff into the main living area. You got yourself a half bath back here. Yep, and it's recessed. Love it. Recessed. So you have your full Love 11 foot it. garage accessible there. Bob, get in there and take a look at that. So you got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush, plenty of countertop space there, storage. You even added the residential nozzle. And since this is a full profile fifth wheel toy hauler, um, you know, you got plenty of headroom in there too. I've seen people take uh -huh. those and put the hangers up, like those mm -hmm. command strips, yeah. and that's where they'll put gear. They'll put yeah. it like high up. It's a great idea. Well, but that's what's versatile about having the toy hall. Absolutely. The other thing is we have a third AC back here too. Oh, How right cool on. is that, man? That is cool. And it's a dump AC. Oh. So what that means to you guys is basically, let's say you bring your Harleys in for the day or whatever, right. side by side. You don't have to worry about fumes getting into your living area or bedroom, okay? Because it's a dump AC, so it's not directly ducted into those other ACs in there. So it's like a whole separate suite back here. Whole separate suite, man. That's and a then great point. You did point out the uh, the uh, welded tie downs here. The yeah. frame welded tie downs are awesome. Like he said, you know, you don't have to worry about anything being bolted or screwed into the floor. These are actually rated for 5,000 pound. This core right here, and it is welded straight to the frame. That's something we've been doing for a lot of years now. Yeah. Um, we know that D rings over time. You know, yeah, not necessarily pull. fail, but yeah, yeah, they might pull. They'll so pull. we went with the frame-loaded tie-downs, and we've been doing it for quite a while. 
That's a very nice touch. I'm just a fan of toy haulers in general because of the versatility in the space. 100%. You got a party deck, you got outside space, fishing, pull this up to the lake, cast off the edge, tanning spot, hangout spot, tailgate spot, mm -hmm. boom there. Then we talk about going into the, to the residential area. We have a privacy door, solid, and if I'm not mistaken, once you close it up, it's because it's got the vape seal in there. It's a vape seal. So it's tightly sealed. And not going to get sound. Sealed right up in there. Not going to get smells. Nope. That's and then big... one more other feature we added into here too. Here, let's, let's look from this side right here. So basically what these allow you to do is sit there and obviously have your privacy, shade, things like that. But mm -hmm. what you don't have to worry about is your toy is hitting blinds back here and knocking them off the wall. Oh, so that's why nice we do touch. these button up blinds. Right? It's a great touch. Yep. Yeah. Dude, see, that, that's what I like. Keystone thinks about a lot of things. And to me, it's those little things that are going to make the experience even better. So, 100%. because if people, we got a lot of people who are first timers mm -hmm. looking into it, a lot of people upgrading too. But it, it's one of those things where it's the little things that'll change the experience. If somebody does not have a good experience, they're not going to want to come out and do it again. Right. So, it's if you think about the things they might think of, and you guys have been doing it for umpteen 17 years yeah, now I was gonna say umpteen bazillion years that's what's great about RVing thinking about the little things and look when you text easy RV to 32094 or you drop easy RV down below and you do get in touch with one of those specialists ask them the questions let them guide you hey I'm thinking about a toy hauler I want to get this X Y and Z will it fit this you know what I got this type of toy but I got these many kids well ask them those questions we could help you but we can't hear you that's why Easy RV is set up to make sure that they can. And speaking of setup, would you like a uh, <laughs> look at that? You like that? They That's brought fancy. that, they brought like that just for us. Well, yeah. the cool thing is, I could just flip up my bar stool right here and, and just sit back, hang on out. Yeah, tell me about the hunt. So now, this is this is something you need to see. The Razorback bar stools. Each mm -hmm. one holds 300 pounds. I mean, it allows you to have a sit right up here at the countertop. Wow. And if you notice, there's no sink at this countertop. It's over there. See so a full use of this as a table if you wanted to. The LED accent light Isn't that, that cool? is in the actual seamless solid surface countertop, that's a cool touch, man. Yep. That is a cool touch. Yeah, so if you're sitting here watching movies, you can shut the other lights off and still mm -hmm. have this guy on. Kind of sets the mood, right? And, you know, obviously since it's Keystone, we're going to have the solid constructed solid wood on full extension ball bearing drives with everything. We got the matte black or graphite style fixtures all the way around as well. Plenty good storage under there. Even have your trash can right there. Or, you know, this is your RV. Do with it as you wish. Put your boots down there. Put your yeah. put your shoes down. There. Do whatever. Um, <laughs> I just love the loft bunk, man. Oh yeah, such a nice touch and good use of space because with these full profile fifth wheels, you got so much headroom. Mm -hmm. Why not maximize it? So putting a bunk up there is a great spot. Now you didn't see the ladder to that is actually back here in the garage. We just didn't bring it in so we could kind of show you as we walk through. But there is a ladder that takes you up there in case somebody was thinking about that. And believe it or not, I do get that question a lot. No, you don't, about do throwing, yeah, you don't yeah. throw about throwing your kid up there. We got a ladder for you. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, frosted glass inlay here, solid shaker style cabinets. Look at the room that we have here to put stuff. I like how the TV is on an angle. Tell me about this entertainment center. Well, what's great is one thing you were showing right there uh -huh. is we have residential soft closed cabinet doors. Now, how cool is that? That is something you don't see in a towable no, RV. No, not at it's all. It's usually just a motorized. Yeah. That's a feature we've been doing for a little over a year now, and people love it. Yeah. Um, as far as the entertainment center go, you got a 50 inch TV here. So you got your stereo here. You got JBL surround sound. So we got premium surround sound inside this Raptor. Um, entertainment value. That's what people love these things for, is yeah. they have fun and entertain, right? This then, extreme, man. Yeah, absolutely. This extreme. And then you also have um, a fireplace here, which obviously puts out quite a bit of heat, too. If you don't want to use like the gas furnace, you can use your electric fireplace. Got multiple flame settings, mm -hmm. multiple light settings, too. That beautiful blue, those crystal lights, or those crystals down at the bottom just lights up. This is a great night light as well, and ambiance. Absolutely. You got the LED running lights under the Thomas Paine extra large couch here, which, you know, you got the multi recliners, we got heat, we got massage. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't think about, especially with toy haulers. Why is it just one big couch on one side, on one slide? Well, A, entertaining, mm -hmm. but B, look at all the windows that we have here. 
below those beautiful wood balances, those screens, you open those up. You get the air flowing in here, the cross breeze. You put on the massage on this thing, kick it out in the recliner. It's a sleeper. 100%. I'll pass out on those just about every time. I say it every time in RV. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong about a recliner being oh, a sleeper. Tell me I'm wrong. So amazing. Yeah. And they're all four recline too. So all recliners. Now you guys updated the decor in here too because I like the rustic kind of barn style look that's in here. That's exactly it. So um, we always say it's a... Uh, What's, what's that couple, uh, HGTV? Oh, the ones that are always doing the... Uh, yeah, we yeah. say it's a Chip and Joanna. Okay. We always say Chip and Joanna inspired. <laughs> um, but you know, in, in years past, you know, toilets tend to be really dark wood, things yeah. like that. We went real modern and lightened it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, big windows, but you want to go lighter woods. Yeah. So we went with the gray tones are not popular. We kept, still kept the wood grain look though. I like the light on dark. That's a really good contrast. Got a pantry over here, plenty of space. Plus I got storage up top. Love the fact that I got a four door fridge sitting over here behind me too. Look at this beast. Now, if you need to feed the whole race team, this is where you're at. 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator. Wow. So gas and electric. So does it have the automatic switch? Okay. So you can run off your electric, run off your LP. If you're going down the road, it's gonna make sure stuff stays cold. Got little prep space over here. My three burner cooktop, flush mounted. Got the LED accent lights here on the controls. Plus I got the large oven. Stainless steel is a good look too. I'm used to seeing the black, it's a good look. And how cool is that? Pot Extra and storage. storage. Helmet storage, yep. tackle box storage. And yeah, it still matches the stove, the stainless steel. Yep, stainless steel. Now, you mentioned three ACs. Mm -hmm. I know we got the ducted heat, the ducted air, and you guys use the tough locks. Mm -hmm. uh, so the tough lock is great. That's where you don't get those soft spots in the ducting, a lot of times you just get the tubes with the tape. Those tough locks really help with stability. But what type of heat or furnace do I have in here? 35,000 BTU furnace. Okay, right on. Is that a convection oven? Sure is. Oh yeah, convection microwave, you got it. The top, look at that. Storage, and the sink over here with the LED light once again inside the solid service countertop. Kane, what were y'all thinking? I'm telling you, man, just add, 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 add a residential feature there, man. This is the drying rack right you here. You got it. Also a cover. Love these because you can just ball them up and put them away when you're done. But look at how huge this undermounted farmhouse style sink is. <laughs> I'm gonna clean the whole bird in that one. Plus I got the residential <laughs> sprayer. More storage up top. Love the touch with the top, man. The way it looks like it's, it's a, it is a hutch that has just been put in there. Well, in the cabinetry up top, something that's really important to us is depth, right? You yeah. see cabinets a lot of times in kitchens, and they're short. You can't even fit a full plate in. Yeah. But these are seriously deep cabinets, so you can fit a full-size plate in them for extra storage. Hideaway hinges. Plus, yep. that, I like the slow close. Isn't that that's, awesome? Yeah, because people, you know, especially oh, yeah. kids. Yeah, you don't worry about the kids waking you up at night. Got my controls over here. Oh, you got the Jaboni power, and we have in-command. Um, so in-command is great. You can control awning, AC, slides, lights, everything from not only here, but from your cell phone too, which is great. Even your generator. Oh, you can you prime generator? start and stop your generator from your cell phone. Get out of here. Yeah, right, so Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I'm walking into the bathroom, love it. I see I got my porcelain bowl, foot flush, large single basin sink here. Once again, with that graphite style fixture, got the mirrored medicine cabinet, single surround shower with the extra large skylight, got my bench seat, my corner notches, graphite all around there as well. Once again, matte black graphite, whatever you want to call it. Some storage up here. I'm not going to slap the camera there, so I don't want to knock Kevin back again. He's already mad at me for that one time I locked him out of the bathroom. So Kane, let's go up here into the uh, master bedroom and kind of talk about, before we head outside, because I know we got a lot of features outside to get to. Uh, you got it. So the one thing I've noticed, I don't know what this is. So that's your actual thermostat. So this right here, this little knob, which is all over the camper, mm -hmm. this is the thermostat. Yep, each one of your zones has one. So that's one for the master bedroom right there. That is cool. Okay, this master bedroom is pretty opulent. Oh yeah, you got a full size wardrobe closet here, washer dryer prep, yep. you even got extra shelves. You can pull the shelves, put your washer dryer combo in there if you wanted to. Right. Or if you don't want to do washer dryer, 
You got hangers up here too. Got Some a more TV storage. in its own cabinets. Mm -hmm. I got a large window. See, this is with toy haulers. I'm so used to the master bedroom just seeming like. Did you did you get this from Miami Vice? <laughs> just kind of how the you know the feel. This is residential and beautiful. Yeah. I mean, this is just great. Nothing. Mm -hmm. not, there's nothing wrong with Miami Vice. I still got the white blazers. Got storage underneath. And they're on struts. And there's your extra table, which can be used inside or out. Hundred percent. And that's why we want the east-west bed slide on here is to give you more room inside the bedroom. Right. But if you notice too, this is something we thought a lot about. We wanted to make sure we had big shelves on the fascia itself, CPAP machines. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. a big thing nowadays. It is a big so we want to make thing. sure yeah. you can put your CPAP machine there. And underneath each, which, here you go, Kevin, I'm going to move out the way so you can kind of see. You'll see on each side, underneath that big shelf, they have some cubbies right there. So you can put your cell phone, you can put, you know, whatever you need down in there. And we got USB and a receptacle down here too. Right on. So for this, this one's right here is actually got solar panel built onto it. Right. That's one of your solar power receptacles. Oh, okay, cool. And there's our third AC in the bedroom. See, that's I like the fact that in the garage you got the dump, the dump AC. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That's a very good touch. And once again, if if you like this floor plan, you like this layout, you like this style of toy hauler, Easy RV three two zero nine four. Leave me a comment down below. Easy RV. Give me a call eight six six eight five three thirty five ten. People are going to be standing by waiting for you to show you the one that's closest to you and then say, how do you want to get it? We want to bring it to your campsite. You want us to bring it to your house. We got you covered either way. Solid steps coming out. We got the four here, the Moride steps, and the extra large grab handle. Tell me about the extreme temperature package. Yeah, so what that's basically going to allow you to do is camp all four seasons. Because we got so, great insulation in there. That's right. So yeah. what we do is we go ahead and we got a heated and enclosed underbelly. We also have heated tanks now too. Okay, so you got the 12 volt. 12 volt pads. Yep, you got Love it. it. Love it. See, the one thing to me the toy hauler just kind of brings out is the fun. I always think tailgating and party. Because mm -hmm. and not that's not a bad thing. I'm not generalizing at all. Okay. But you think about it, it's a good way to just have fun, and mm -hmm. these are built for fun. So right here, I see we got a just ginormous awning that runs the entire span of this RV. LED floodlights here on the side. It's a Solera arm. Entertainment speakers right here, that JBL sound that you were talking about. Now we got the road armor. No, this is the CRE 3000. Yeah, the Moride. The Moride suspension. Right on, man. Tell me about that and those wheels. Well, the nice thing is with the Moride suspension there is it gives you three inches of give. So it's a natural motion when you're going over a pothole. Right. So you got three inches of dive to it. Um, we also use G-rated tires. That's a standard feature on Rapper. We've been doing that for years. Right. We don't, you don't have to option or anything. These are G-rated. Dude, that's beautiful. And so once again, there's little things that you think about. Those small features that are going to help make the experience a little bit better which is going to hopefully make you want to come out and do it again. So as we kind of begin to close it out over here, I want to finish off down there with the tanks. Heated pass-through storage right here. Got my in-command there. Hydraulic leveling system. Absolutely. Love it. Automatic leveling. Got a little bit more storage there. Generator comes in it. We got a 5,500 watt Onan Quiet. You got it. Love those. Now, man. if you notice one thing that's really specific to us right here is that mm -hmm. divider wall. Oh, sure, between the, the propane tanks. You got and, it, because yeah. we've all known that generators can make a little bit extra noise and things, so we have a divider sure. wall there, so there's less room for vibration. Yeah, that reverb shake in the front. You got which it. Which can also, especially when they're up front, wake you up if you're sleeping in the front cap. Molded end cap right here. Got the Rotaflex fifth wheel hinge, fifth and wheel I, hitch. I love this thing, man. Yeah. It's natural motion again. It pivots up when you slam on the brakes. So there's not that. Down. You got <laughs> there's it. There's not that jucking and bucking, baby. You got it. Nobody likes that. So I just love the way these look too. Good at the campsite, good when you're going down the road. Come around over here to the off camp side, as I like to call it, the external command center, mm -hmm. if you will. Got my termination controls right here. External shower, winterize, fills, flushes, bypasses. It's even color coded, just like the wiring inside Keystone. Everything's you color coded, it. so it's easy to find. Man, you guys do a great job with that. Twin 30 pound LPs, strut supported on the doors. Ah, the seamless glass, the edgeless safety glass that's tinted all the way around. Now, this also has the TrueFit slides on it, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. Okay. So, with the TrueFit slides, that not only makes sure that the slide is a true fit, but minimizes the use of components. What happens when you minimize the use of components? You minimize the chance something's going to break. 
Less stuff to use, less stuff could go wrong. The back of my fridge there. <clears throat> now tell me about the fuel station. What's my gallon size? How much stuff can I fill up? So you got two 30 gallon fuel cells. Right They're on. labeled right. So you got your gen tank here, mm -hmm. you got your auxiliary fuel here. Let's say your gen tank's getting a little low. You don't have a tool you need to fill up at that time. You can just go ahead and flip it over and you got your pump right here. You can go ahead and right fill up on. the gen tank right there like that. Right on. Got the nozzle and everything put inside. Just like your gas pump. Love it. Got the solid mounted ladder so I can get up on there if I need to do the roof maintenance, if I need to. 50 amp service. And the leveling system is six point? Six point. You six got point. it. Okay. So what, what that means, six points, is with that hydraulic automatic leveling, when you go to set up, there are six of these legs throughout this throughout this fifth wheel, they're going to come down to make sure that it's stable. So when you're moving in there, especially if you're bringing vehicles in, you're not going to have the wugga bugger bugger when you go up and down. <laughs> Just always going to be one of my favorite things, the party deck, the versatility, but also check this out. A little extra added touch. You got it. So what we have here is in order to come in off the side, you would want to pull the cable over there. Well, that's what these legs are for. They'll give it the full support and you can level it out at that point, whatever terrain you're going to be on. Leveling's important. So <laughs> we wouldn't want anything falling off the back. No. <laughs> <laughs> so fifth wheels, and you can see, you didn't get a real, real good chance to see when we were at, at the beginning, but you see that awning right there? It's a scissor arm that expands the awning out over the back of the, the deck right here. Plus you have those LED floodlights, beautiful at night. Plus they're so bright and they give you so much extra time to enjoy being outside. And you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's really what RVing is all about. It's about getting out and enjoying, whether it's going on a race, going to the track, taking the team. We got our gear that we got to go do something or it's the family and the friends. We got 10 people we need to sleep. You know, we're going to have a big, you know, week-long trip across the country and we need space. We're going to be hitting campgrounds along the way. That sounds like an awesome trip. Yeah, it does. It sounds like an awesome trip. <sighs> toy haulers are more than just hauling toys, but they're perfect for hauling toys. So the versatility makes them one of the best RVs that you can get. Now, they are heavy. They're big. You do need a big truck to tow them, but it's worth it. Absolutely. They are absolutely worth it.